The LRRG programme is a programme to design, develop and manufacture a number of recovery vehicles for the British Army. So a couple of years ago, um, Supercat came up with a concept for a lightweight recovery vehicle based on the successful Jackal and Coyote design. And the concept was to take a, a, a 6x6 variant of the vehicle and um, use learning that we'd had on a previous program to put um, a recovery boom and large winch on it to give um, the army a capability that was as, as mobile and as fast and as effective um, as their existing vehicle so it could keep up with the existing fleet that's there to support but have that additional recovery capability on top. Uh, about a year after that, the Army came in and said, yeah, we like what the concept is. Can you see if you can de develop this? We partnered with MP Aerospace to produce this, this concept vehicle. So the recovery capabilities are the, are the LRRG. Um, so with the installed 10.5 tonne uh, rear recovery winch and the recovery boom that we've put onto the vehicle, um, it can um, re recover vehicles um, up to 10.5 tonnes using the winch then attach the um, stranded vehicle with a specialist piece of uh, recovery frame equipment which is attached to the, to, the, to the casualty vehicle and then that is then lifted onto uh, a towing pedal on the back of the vehicle uh, using the re recovery boom and then you're away. So there's a whole host of equipment on board that the recovery uh, specialists in the army have identified including specialist winches, specialist tools, um, large bits of mechanical equipment, the sort of stuff that you'd expect to see on a fire engine uh, attending a crash scene. It's that sort of equipment to, to, to rest people out of difficulty on the, on the truck. So we've completed the proof of concept vehicle and that's now gone through successful trials and we've um, put all of the, the useful feedback from the, the army specialists back into the design and we're now working on the, on the production vehicle. Vehicles. The first one should be ready in the first quarter of 2023 and once operator training and maintainer training has been completed then they'll be ready for deployment. It's really exciting to be working on a project like this. The whole team is very motivated. We're taking a piece of kit that, that, that we know well and a really set, a good set of requirements from the specialist users. And it's been a real collaborative team effort to get things together. So we're really excited because we can see the thing coming together and it's working really well. So yeah, it's great, really rewarding.